Good afternoon, fellow cannabis enthusiasts. It's Corey with Corey Cooks Cannabis. How y'all today? If you're not feeling done, pick up your pen. Mmm, I love doing that. It's fun. I have a few things I'd like to say just before we dive into what we're doing today. Um, I got a couple of new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much for call it, coming along. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, it is free. I will have a link down here in the corner. Please, by all means, subscribe. Um, today, what we are going to make is Jamaican ginger cake. A uh, big, huge shout out to Maddie and Matty in the UK. Um, he gave me the suggestion and so it's something I've never made before and we are not too shy to start somewhere, right? Read a recipe, if you ha know how to cook, you probably could come along. So what we're going to start with is we're going to cream our ingredients together and what we're going to have is one cup of butter. I have a half a cup of regular butter here. And then we're going to use a half cup of coconut. I know it seems really full, but it's still hard, so it's not going to pack down properly. So we did a half cup of the coconut can of oil. It will change the taste of it just a smidge, but we're already changing the taste of it, um, infusing it with the cannabis. So I hope it still tastes good. So half a cup here of the can of coconut, can of coconut. All right. And then we need one and a half cup of dark brown sugar and use dark. There is a difference between the light and the dark. If I recall correctly, um, please, by all means, if I am incorrect, make a comment down in the comment section. Um, if I remember correctly, my grandmother told me that um, dark uh, brown sugar has a little bit more molasses in it than the light brown sugar. Now, I don't remember if that's exactly what she said. Like I said, put a comment down in the comment section. So one and a half cups of sugar. I'm sorry, not one and a half cups, one and a quarter cup. 275 mils. There's our quarter cup. Nicely packed in. So we're going to blend this together and as we did with the last cake, we will slowly add our eggs one at a time. And in this recipe, it calls for four eggs. here and we'll add start creaming this together that's done the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in and we're going to put four tablespoons of our freshly grated ginger i had already done that at the beginning um so you didn't have to be bothered by watching me grate and all of that so there's our four tablespoons. I had measured it out as well. Let's blend that in nicely. All right. Oh, I dribbled some. 
them on me. I did that too that the other week. Did you guys notice that? It was kind of funny. When I was editing, I was like, oh my gosh. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, let's just set this aside for a moment. And we'll bring over our flour. Okay, I've already sifted out the flour that we're going to use um, today. So this is one and a half cups. We do need two and a half cups. But along with the coconut infused oil, we are going to use a uh, flour infused can with cannabis. Now, we're going to use four teaspoons of baking powder. I always like to double check my recipe, especially when you're playing with this kind of stuff. Four teaspoons. See, this has cannabis on it. Which is fine, but I gotta dip it in here. Okay, one. Two, three, four. That's hilarious. I was thinking as I was counting it. Um, back when I was a kid, I watched Sesame Street. I don't know. I don't see it in Canada anymore, but um, I was thinking about the count. Wah, ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Okay, and we need four teaspoons of ground ginger to go along with our grated ginger. Mm. Let's do it this way. One. I did it that way. It was just a little too over half. Okay, so let's uh, mix this all nicely together. So once we add the ginger, um, we're gonna stir this nicely together and then we're gonna add um, a half teaspoon of sugar, uh, sugar. cinnamon. It says a half. I'm going to go a little over. I like cinnamon. And it'll cut back some of that cannabis taste as well. So let's just sift this together. And when you're um, going to mix it, we're going to mix it alternatively with one cup of milk. So we're going to put some of the batter in here and then we're going to put some milk. Batter. Flour. I'm sorry. You know I smoke. I can't guarantee you every day my brain works. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of flour in. And I'll mix that together. Enjoy the music. alternately uh, put my flour and my milk in. I like to scrape down the sides to make sure I get everything nicely blended. And it smells a little canna and it smells a little ginger. I don't think it's overbearing with the ginger. And I have stuff on me again. All right, guys. Oh, and there was a half a teaspoon of salt. I've, I'd already accidentally put it in the flour. So we're gonna use the bundt cake again. Uh, 
container. And we're going to put it in the oven for 375 up to an hour like typical cakes if it comes out clean it is ready All right, guys, I will see you in about an hour, hour and a half. We'll let this cake nicely cool down before uh, we see the end results. And let's see. Uh, let's put this up to the camera here and see if you can see the flakes of cannabis in the cake itself. I don't know if you can see that. I won't know until I add it, but all those little specks and that is all the cannabis in the flour. So this should be yummy. All right, guys, like I said, when we come back in about an hour, hour and a half, we'll take a look at this delicious cake and maybe have a slice and a taste. All right, until then, guys, please stay zen. Bye. Hi, we're back, fellow cannabis enthusiasts. Um, let's have a puff. I always love that. Here is our cake. It smells delicious. Let's see what it looks like. Now, you can put powdered sugar. Oh, no. It's stuck to my pan. Oh, what a shame. Well, you guys can tell this is real life, and accidents truly do happen in real life when you're baking. As you can see, accidents do happen in real life. I almost lost the cake. Holy doodles, that would have stunk. Um, you can sprinkle powdered sugar on the top once you finish baking it. I do not have any powdered sugar. Amazing. Um, so I am not going to sprinkle it. But like I said, I'm just going to start with a small piece and give it a taste and see what it's like. Oh, it's super, super moist. It smells divine. It is good. It um, doesn't have a huge ginger taste. It's actually really not overpowering at all. It's super moist. Like, it just crumbles. But you can taste quite a bit of the cannabis, um, which really, I think, is what hit the ginger. So maybe next time I'll do less flour or maybe less coconut oil because I think that's what I'm tasting for is the coconut oil. All right, guys, until next time, um, please always stay zen. Bye.